Good morning, everyone. Scott Earhart here with Insurance Agency Marketing Services. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. I think you're really going to enjoy the presentation we're going to put in front of you today. Really timely topic in Social Security uh, claiming, maximization, and prospecting uh, via those outlets. Uh, that being said, we're going to have one of our national sales coaches, Dave Pimper, join us shortly to present this. Uh, Social Security is a cornerstone of Dave's practice has helped make him the top producer he is. And he's gonna share with you some secrets and insights into implementing that into your own practice. So really excited about that. Before Dave joins us and we get going here, I'm gonna go through a few introductory slides and a uh, few housekeeping items. Um, so with that, let me get into the housekeeping items here today. Probably the most important thing you'll hear from me today is uh, in the top right-hand corner of your screen, that's our phone number, 800 255-5055. If there's anything we can do here at IMS to help you life for annuity markets, please do not hesitate to give us a call. We'd certainly love to chat with you about what we can do to help you grow your practice. Um, second housekeeping item, our polling questions. Throughout the presentation today, we will launch two to three polling questions. Uh, if you would please take the time to click yes or no on those, we really do appreciate everyone's participation uh, in, those, in those polls. And then last housekeeping item before the introductory slides um, are going to be questions. Dave is, uh, Dave is really good at what he does, um, and sometimes we tend to move a little fast. So I'm sure there are going to be plenty of questions about the presentation today. You do have a questions box on your screen. Feel free to type them in. We'll do the best we can to get those answered while we are here live in session. Uh, if we don't get them answered for you live and in session, uh, Brady Pelzer from the IMS office will be following up with you. Certainly pose that question to him and we will get you uh, get you those answers. So with accidentally muted myself there with that, let's get into our introductory slides. This first slide is on our new producer builders program. This is going to be geared towards individuals who are new to us here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services, or if you're for, if you are in your first 180 days of being licensed with us. This is, you can see there are multiple levels there. You can certainly qualify at any of those levels. And as you can see inside of each level are some great, great rewards to choose from. You know, business building tools, personal perks, even cash rewards available for your production. If you have any questions about how the new producer builder system works, just let your sales director know they'd love to walk you through it and chat with you about what we can do to get you up to the level where you want to qualify next are business builders uh, one of my favorite slides here because all we're going to talk about is putting dollars back into your pocket and we're going to start with the referred producer program uh, our business here on the wholesale side of the industry very similar to yours uh, in the field in that one of the best leads we can ever obtain is a referral uh, from one of our valued clients or you, our valued advisors. So with that being said, we wanted to make it lucrative for you to refer individuals to us. You can kind of see the breakdown there. Uh, basically what happens is you refer an individual to us, we get them licensed through IMS, they begin producing, you earn an override on that business. You can see uh, the basis point breakdown there uh, can be very, very lucrative for you. Uh, the ownership group here at IMS cuts those checks at least quarterly. They do sign checks every quarter for thousands and thousands of dollars. So uh, certainly can be something that's very, very lucrative for you and hopefully good for your referred agent to help them grow their business. That being said, if you can think of a producer that could benefit from doing business with us at IMS, please type their information into the questions box. Feel free to email me um, their information, scott, S-C-O-T-T, at imesinc.com or when Brady calls to follow up, just let Brady know who they are. We'll do the best we can to get them recruited over to IMS and get you on your way to earning some referred producer dollars. Below that is our marketing reimbursement program. This is our most popular program that we offer. Um, and really why it's so popular is because it's all about helping you uh, grow your practice through marketing and advertising of your business. Rough numbers on that for every 100,000 in FIA premium, we put $100 into your marketing reimbursement account. And what makes this so popular and lucrative is that we really consider this to be your money. So what I mean by that is we're not gonna cap your account. We're not gonna make you roll your account out at any certain time. And we really put very few restrictions on how you can utilize that account. You can certainly use IMS Creative, our internal 
uh, marketing team to help you. Uh, if you are using an outside vendor, a, a lead vendor, a PR firm, something of that nature that you've had success with, we certainly want you to continue that relationship and we want to help you continue that relationship. All we'd ask is that you send us the invoice or receipt from your services that you've uh, you've requested from that vendor and we'll hopefully cut you a check that same day to help you offset those costs. If you have, <coughs> excuse me, if you have questions on either program, please give your sales director a call at 800-255-5055 and we will chat with you about how we can help you utilize those programs the best. Uh, next is our Life and Annuity Academy. I'm gonna launch our first poll of the day asking you if you'd like more information on the Life and Annuity Academy. Uh, this is pretty relevant right now. We are currently accepting applications for our second Life and Annuity Academy of 2022. Uh, we'll be in mid-June. We'll be at Athene's home office in West Des Moines, Iowa. All expenses paid on this really, really good two and a half day. Um, we call it more of a sales and marketing event than anything else. We're, this isn't a product roadshow. That's not what we do. Um, so what we do on our Life and Annuity Academies is we're going to fly in on a Wednesday. We're going to have an evening session uh, at the hotel there uh, Wednesday evening. We're going to do a full day session at Athene's home office Thursday. Then we'll do a morning session at Athene's home office on Friday, uh, break by lunchtime, get you out, get you on a plane, hopefully have you home in time for dinner that evening. Uh, what you'll see in uh, the Life and Annuity Academy is, is really unprecedented access to Athene. Uh, we've had uh, their, their president and CEO speak at it. We uh, definitely get their decision makers in the room to talk with you about uh, not only a theme, but just the industry in general, what's going on, trends that they're seeing. Of course, you'll meet uh, the IMS staff, the department heads. They'll chat with you about some great sales ideas, about working with IMS, how we can help your business flow, uh, flow better, and, and tools that we have to help you increase your sales. And then one of what I think is the most important is uh, we'll bring in several of our national sales coaches. Uh, from throughout the country to chat with you about what it is that they do. Now, to be a sales coach at IMS, uh, not only do you have to be able to talk the talk, but you must walk the walk. And what I mean by that is these individuals are all top producers in the industry. So uh, they're going to share with you the secrets, the tips, the tricks that they've used to build their practices and allow you to implement those uh, in your own practice, take them home with you. And of course, we're going to have plenty of downtime for networking uh, and idea shares, things of that nature. So really, really good opportunity. Again, all expenses paid. If you'd like more interest in it, uh, just click yes. You'll get an automated, or if you'd like more information on it and have interest in it, I guess that's how that sentence should have been structured. <laughs> um, uh, if you'd like that information, just click yes. We'll get you out an automated email. It'll give you the opportunity to apply for attendance. Um, we'll get you an overview on, on things we're going to discuss there. So really, really valuable. Many of our top producers have been through a life in Annuity Academy, and I'd highly encourage you to do so uh, if you're looking to grow your practice. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and close down this poll. So if you haven't taken the time to click yes or no, if you would, please do so. I'd certainly appreciate it. All right. Thank you, everyone. Let's move on. I want to make sure everybody's aware that we do have Firelight available to you via imsinc.com. Um, if you are not familiar with eApps, I would challenge you that the next application you submit, do it on the Firelight system. I think you'll be surprised at how easy it is to utilize. And the great thing about Firelight is it really cuts down on NIGO. So your business is going to be submitted in good order. It gets to the carriers quicker. Uh, so they begin to work it uh, much, much faster. Thus, your business gets issued uh, in a more timely fashion. So really, really good tool there. If you have any questions, uh, just give give us a call. We can certainly walk you through how to register for Firelight and how to utilize it. I did mention our creative team earlier uh, in, in the introductory slides here. So we do employ a full in-house creative team. Uh, and we've got tons of solutions to help you market and brand yourself. Uh, turnkey solutions that we've developed uh, that are, are simply put your contact information on them uh, and go out and uh, go out and earn or go out and market yourself uh, very, very easily. You can do that through print marketing, digital marketing, whatever's best for you. We do have a full agency solutions 
um, process that we can help you with, help you create a help you create a, a logo, a brand that is specific to you, um, and, and will definitely help you with name recognition. And I did mention it earlier, but certainly we can help you with digital solutions, um, websites, uh, strategies for digital marketing, social media, um, a lot of great tools there, a lot of expertise on the creative team. If you'd like more information on how to access the creative team, the way you access that is through your I'm sales director. So just give whomever it is you're working with here a call, let them know you're interested in a few things. We can do a quick questionnaire and get you connected with uh with i'ms creative get you on your way to having your marketing built all right retirement analyzer this is one of my favorite tools that we offer to uh to our advisors um the retirement analyzer is a holistic software suite that really um really allows you to uh take a look at a client's entire uh financial lifespan uh, lets you look at where they're at right now and with the simple click of a button shows you shows the client in very plain language how much better off they're going to be because they've chosen to implement uh, the product or the strategy that you recommend so not only is it a great tool uh, to help a client understand where they are it's a great closing tool for you as well so if you'd like more information on the retirement analyzer Marcus solar here in our office is our point man with it just give him a call he can certainly show you uh show you how to access it show you how to use it we've got some great training on it as well i'ms wealth management uh, i'm going to launch our second poll of the day uh here uh as we're talking about this we launched i'ms wealth management about five years ago now uh really really created an ria in the likeness of who we are here at i'ms the imo uh in that it's an advisor focused advisor centric ria with a service model. So they answer the phone the same way that we do, <clears throat> excuse me, um, and they are truly here to help you position yourself to your clientele as the expert, not only for insurance and safe money investing, but also assets under management. They've got a great technology platform for you to access, and uh, the fee structure is very, very competitive. Uh, both for you and for your end client. Uh, that being said, we've helped a lot of advisors grow from insurance-based uh, advisors to insurance and AUM managers. So uh, with that being said, if, you, if you're considering adding uh, assets under management into your offerings, I'd tell you to click yes, have a conversation with Duncan in, in our wealth management team. He can talk with you about how easily we can help you pass the Series 65 and get AUM uh, into your offerings. And if you are currently an IAR, I'd tell you click yes, kick the tires of Imes Wealth Management. I think you'd be pleasantly surprised, again, with the technology platform that's offered and the overall fee structure. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and move on from this polling question. So if you haven't clicked yes or no, if you would do so, certainly appreciate the participation there. All right. Thank you, everyone. Uh, last slide before I hand it over to the great Dave Pimper is a fun slide. We are uh, had to make some changes, had to pivot a little bit, and we pivoted very, very well. Our 22 top producer summit will be at the Greenbrier in West Virginia. If you do not know of the Greenbrier, as soon as we're off this call, I would tell you that uh, you should Google up Greenbrier and see how beautiful of a property this is. Uh, we did lower the qualification because we are staying domestic to just 4 million uh, trip points and qualification does continue to run through the end of June. So still a lot of time to qualify. There are three levels that you can qualify at. You can see that the level two, the Sage level and level one, the Emerald level, gonna be some uh, great additional perks available to you. With that being said, if you have any questions about the Top Producer Summit for 2022, just give your sales director a call. They'd love to walk you through where you stand and how we can help you get qualified there. All right. With that being said, I think I've got Mr. Pimper on the line with us. Dave, can you hear us? Dave, you with us? I can see he is logged in, everyone just waiting for him to get fully active and, and we'll we'll get it handed over to him. Our apologies for the technical difficulties here. Should just be a second.
Oh, there we go. Just went green. Dave, can you hear us? Absolutely. How you doing, Scott? Good, buddy. Good. Sorry about the technical difficulties there. Glad you No, were no, no. That's on my part. In. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. No good stuff. <laughs> and we got a lot of folks on with us for a for a Friday, so Let's go ahead and get in. Do you want to give me the controls, or do you want to control it? I, I will give you controls, boss. It is all yours. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much uh, for everyone, because we've got a, I mean, we've got a lot of folks um, all across the U.S. I'm just looking at the different states: California, Texas, Kansas. Yeah, there's a lot of different folks that are with us today. But but understanding Social Security, I'm going to tell you right now, it's it's key or could be key for you from, from production if you're in that, working with that pre-retired or just retired. And, and I'll tell you, I just, this happened to come in from Retirement Boss Radio, but here's a, a guy that works for a, a, a local firm. He's a really kind of a, a, a mid-level exec. Um, he did have 2.1 million in his 401k, <laughs> and he has a ton in company stock that's down like 35%, and he, he went from 2.1 to 1.6 million in a little over three months, and he's concerned, concerned. And when he comes in here, I said, what are the two most important things? He said, I gotta figure out what to do with my investments. I gotta get some safety. The second thing is, he said, I heard from the radio show that you have an expertise around social security claiming. And he said, that's, that's really, even though he had talked to another advisor, he didn't know Social Security, and that's why he's talking to me, and he wants me to look at the investments, too. That's how strong understanding Social Security is. And so I have here, you know, Social Security maximization, how to maximize that person's Social Security, but why you, the advisor, people on the phone with me today, you know, why you should understand Social Security claiming. I think why only about, about one out of every 20, only five in 100 advisors really understand Social Security inside and out. And the reason for that is they can't figure out how, well, how the heck can I make money from Social Security claiming? Well, what happens is, remember, the, the, the Social Security Administration cannot give advice. And that's true. You heard that right. They cannot give you advice. They can give you your highest benefit right now. Who gives advice? An advisor, like myself or like yourself if you're coached up. So what IAMS does is gives you the, the FMO who I, I – uh, and proprietary through my services, coaching services through insurance agency marketing services, what happens is, is that I coach you up on Social Security. And it's either three sessions or four sessions with all of our attachments, full use and availability of myself. Two of those are paid for. I am space for the Social Security coaching for yourself. Um, and that is whether you do a, a seminar marketing through Social Security, 2750 bucks, or you do radio, we're talking about radio, being your own radio host for an hour recorded show um, um, every single week runs probably three to four thousand dollars a month. Or you can just say, "Look, I don't, I don't want marketing. I don't need to get in front of more new people. I just want to learn Social Security." I coach you up on four sessions for eight hundred dollars. Three different ways. So if you've held off from getting Social Security education, now is the time to think about it. So get a load of this, and I and I, and I love this slide. Most retirees get little advisor help on Social Security. I'm going to read it because it's, it's that important. Sarah O'Brien from CNBC, who was the author of Majority of Older Americans Get No Professional Advice About a Key Part of Retirement Planning, Social Security, even if they work with a financial uh, advisor. That's wild. That's wild. So here's, here's, a, here's a five question quiz that I want you to take it with me. It, it, and there's a couple tricky questions on this, but it's pretty down to earth on different things. So really, there's only one in 300 seniors could ace. I, and again, I bet there's only five out of 100 advisors could get all those right. So let's try it. Now, take this, take this quiz with me, please. To maximize your monthly Social Security checks, at what age must you claim benefits? To maximize your monthly Social Security checks, at what age must you claim benefits? Okay, what's the, write your answer down. You know what the correct answer is not? It's not full retirement age. It is the age of 70. You don't earn after that unless it's COLA, but you don't earn anymore. No, you wait to, especially if you're single, this is the case. <clears throat> what's the earliest age you can receive <clears throat> survivor's benefits 
if you're not disabled? What is the earliest you can receive survivor's benefits if you're not disabled? Got the answer? It's 60. Not 62, but it's 60. Does your spouse need to receive benefits for you to qualify for spousal benefits? Does your spouse need to receive benefits for you to qualify for spousal benefits? Yes or no? They do. Can divorced spouses receive spousal benefits? Can divorced spouses receive spousal benefits? Yes, they can. Okay, they can. But I want you to name two of the four stipulations that have to be met to receive uh, to receive divorce spouse benefits. List two of them to get this question correct. Okay, here they are. First of all, your marriage had the last 10 continuous years. Secondly, unmarried at the time of claiming the benefit, not the ex, but you. Ex at least 62, divorce was two years ago or longer. If you got two of those right, I'm going to give that, that question to you. And lastly, here's number four, five. Are you eligible for survivor's benefits if you're divorced? Are you eligible for survivor's benefits if you are divorced? Yay or nay? Ah, if you guessed yes, you're right. Those same stipulations have to be met. So, yeah. So on those five questions, how'd you do? Did you, did you get them all right? I'm going to say no. <laughs> did you get four of the five right? If you did, that's very good. You're, if you didn't guess on them, then, then you know Social Security. If you got three of five, you, you know your share. If you got two of five, one, two, or three, you, you, you need to have more information, more education. And we're the place that that can happen. Get a load of this. Jana Heron, USA Today, about three years ago. Doing this one thing with your Social Security could mean losing a hundred grand in retirement. How much is claiming Social Security at the wrong time cost you? Retirees will lose an average of 111000 in income per household over their lifetime. Why? Because they took Social Security benefits at the wrong time. Only 4% of retirees took Social Security at the financially optimal age. Is that wild? That's how we can help those folks. If you just look at the history of Social Security, signed by the Social Security Act by Franklin Delano Roosevelt in 1935, first check issued in 1940. Age, uh, well, 65 was the only age you could take it. You know, in 1935, the average age of American longevity was age 62. And you could take the check at 65. Yeah, wild. In 61, they lowered the retirement age down to 62, okay, from 65. And then later, they, they raised it, you know, uh, in the 80s up to the age of 70, if you wanted to make more. Cost of living's been around since 75. There's only been three years or hasn't been a cost of living increase in 2001, 2000, 2010, 2011, and 2016. There was no social security taxation until the year of 1983 with Ronald Reagan, up to 50% if you're above certain brackets. Remember Tip O'Neill? Yeah, they used to shake hands and agree on things like they don't now. Taxation went up to 85% of Social Security tax. It's not an 85% tax. It's taxed up to 85. So there's always 15% that is not taxing. Don't believe that there's huge changes every year. There's not. There's only big change. I mean, coal has changed every year. Your full retirement age changes every year. But other than that, there's only major change about once every seven, eight years with Social Security. So it says here, um, Social Security, uh, uh, that 59% of all Social Security recipients count their Social Security as their major source of income. It's a big deal. It's a big, big deal. Remember three dates. Age 62, that's when you can start claiming. Age 70, the latest you want to take after age 70, and then sometime between 66 and 67, you know, your full retirement age. 
can Social Security have a, a big, big value, huge value? Sure. If you claim at your right time, not claiming at the right time, not claiming at a right time, but claiming at the right time. Is Social Security going broke when they talk about the trust fund? And the trust fund right now, as of the latest addition by the Social Security Administration, the trustee said that there's 2.804 trillion. So 2.8 trillion, like ton of money, trillion. It did run a, a, a net increase uh, back in 2020. I certainly think by 2021, it will not. It will be a deficit, and then it will start. You know what? And the Social Security Administration, the trustees think that this trust fund will go down to zero in the year 2034. That's uh, less than 12 years away. And that's why they say it's the trust fund. It's not Social Security going bankrupt. It's a trust fund. But if you're, making, if you're getting a $2,000 benefit and the trust fund goes bankrupt, no money, a lot of people think you would get no money from Social Security. That's incorrect because it's a pay-as-you-go system. That's what payroll taxes are about. The 6.2% payroll tax you pay on your income and the 6.2% that you pay on the, what the employer pays on your income. The employer pays half of the Social Security. If you're self-employed, you take both sides. So if it does go a deficit next year, it does run down, even if there was no trust fund after 2034, there will be. There will be changes. But if there wasn't, I'll tell you right now what will happen. There's going to be either a taxation change or there's going to go in and be maybe age change, but about 78% of all of your benefit would still be paid. About 22% would not. And those are, here are some different things. They could increase the full retirement age, maybe to 68 or 69, increase the, the maximum age that you have to start, maybe to 71 or 72. Look at, it, it, was, it was 65 was the age you had to take back in 1935. Well, there's been... The average person lives 19 years longer now than 1935, but but the full retirement age, uh, not full retirement, but the, the maximum age that, that you could wait to has only gone up five years. And longevity has gone up 19. So they, they could certainly increase that age 70 to 70, 71 or 72. You only pay Social Security up to a cap, up to, a, up to an amount. And it's 147000 this year. You do not pay above. There certainly could be taxation above that. You could tax all the benefits. There's all types, raise payroll taxes, reduce COLAs. Means testing is the wild one. Hey, if you make above a certain amount of money, actually they came out and said if you make above $50,000, you start giving your Social Security that you and your employers put in for your entire life and give it to someone who needs it more. It's means testing, and, and I certainly wouldn't be in favor of that. Here's the facts about Social Security. It is a pay-as-it-go system with, with payroll taxes. Does the government, they, they buy special issue treasury bonds. I mean, there's no market value adjustment or fluctuation. They're not interest rate sensitive. They're paying about 3% average on the portfolio right now, that $2.8 trillion. But they, they used to buy bonds, and they still do buy those government bonds. It's just that they either sell them or borrow against them right away. And pay things down in the general budget. They've been doing this for decades. So what backs Social Security? Gold? No. Silver? No. Bonds? No. They're, they're, they've been sold off or borrowed against. There, but there's IOUs from the federal government. That's why a lot of people say it's a Ponzi scheme. Well, what happens is there's never been a mispayment of the Social Security Administration. Secondly, what backs the currency in your pocket. What backs it? Yeah, the full faith and credit. There's gold, silver, bonds, no. The same backing that Social Security has. So until cash goes in, and they say it's no good, Mr. Pimper, yeah, you know, I'll feel very good about my next Social Security check. So figuring out your benefit, it gets tricky, but you need 40 quarters of coverage. They used to be called quarters of credit. And, and it's done off of income if you, this year, and it goes up with inflation. But but if if if, if you make fifteen hundred and ten dollars, fifteen hundred and ten dollars, what happens is is you get a quarterly credit, 
And if you make four of those, that's $6,040 in a year. You can't earn any more than four credits in any given year. Now, the more you make up to that $147,000, the bigger that benefit is. But you need you can only get four quarters in one year, and you don't have to earn it in each quarter. You can make six thousand forty in the first January one of, of two thousand twenty two. You've met your quarterly limit the four for two thousand twenty two. Now it's how much money you make. You need ten years of that or forty quarters. What happens if you got thirty nine? Is it pro rata? No. You get no coverage if you're a single person. They look at your earnings over your working career, how much you've made. They take your 35 highest inflation adjusted year, and then they figure out if you're going to take your benefit early, full retirement age, or wait to 70. And I'll tell you, I'll have people come in and they'll say, Dave, you know, all you're going to tell me is just wait to 70. Just, you know, husband and wife, wait to 70. Well, Amy and I, my wife and I, we maximized our social security for the pimpers by doing what? Amy took a 62. I figured it all out. Amy took it at 62. Am I? No, I'm letting mine grow. I'm, letting, I'm waiting on mine. Yeah, I'll wait to 70. You know how many people wait to 70? How many, how, what percentage of people do you think that, that wait to, to the age of 70? Yeah, 3%. 3% wait to the age of 70 to take the Social Security benefit. Full retirement age where you get the full benefit. If you're born from 43 to 54, it's age 66. Stair steps up two months to 1960 or later is age 67. A newborn born today. Age 67. I love that dog. Can you tell he's wearing a bone tie? Bad. Bad. Yep. If you take early, is early 62? Depending on if your full retirement age is 66, 67, or somewhere in between, your, your amount is going to be discounted for your entire lifetime 25 to 30 percent. 25 to 30 percent. If there's any questions, please type them on in, and I'll be more than happy to answer you know, when we're done here. So let's go, and I'll tell you this. If you know the individual benefit, if you know the spousal benefit, divorce spouse, survivors, and something called restricted application, which is really at the very end here, not many of those will apply. But if you know those, that's about 80% of all of the questions you can answer. So now, now are there kind of kind of detours and exceptions to the rule there are but on the basics I'm going to show you what each one of those do and if we're coaching I get much more in depth but Dave's PIA that's the primary insurance amount that actually what that means is that means um, that's the amount at your full retirement age Dave hypothetically is 2400 Amy's PIA primary insurance amount is 1000 Dave takes his Amy takes hers Dave gets the high one. Amy has a choice. She could take all of hers or half of Dave's, whichever is higher. So what is she going to do here? Yeah, she's going to take half of Dave's, 1,200 versus 1,000. So the Social Security Administration looks at it as a $1,000 benefits for individual benefit and a $200 top up. What happens if Amy's benefit was 1,400? All of Dave's. Or all, Dave's is 2,400, Amy's is 1,400. What's she going to do? Well, she's certainly going to take her own benefits. And this is done automatically. Spousal benefits are, are done automatically. How about on divorce spouses? A lot of money is left on the table here. And just let you know, if you leave money on the table, you don't request something, it's biblical. If you don't ask, you don't receive. They're not going to get this certified letter from the U.S. government saying, hey, you left money on the table. You know, you better go check your Social Security claiming options. You can get more money. No, that's what we do. That's how we help people. Remember the four things, the four stipulations? Yeah. Married at least 10 years or longer continuously. Second one is you're currently unmarried. Third one, your ex is at least 62. The fourth one is that, um, that you're uh, two years or longer. That's how long your divorce, um, that's how long your divorce was, two years or longer. Okay. Now, any questions? Type them in if you do. My wife says that no one gets out of here alive physically. That's the that's true, isn't it? We all die, no matter what. No one lives forever. In this scenario, Dave and Amy are both 
they're married and in, in, in their past full retirement age, so no discounting of the benefit. Who normally dies first, Dave or Amy? The guy or the gal? Who dies first normally? Yeah, the, the guy does 75% of the time. You know, I, I did a lot of research on that. You know why that is? Because he elects to. <laughs> it's a joke. All the ladies in there, it's a joke. So, you know, Dave's benefits two grand, Amy's is 1,200, Dave dies. Amy has the option. She can keep her benefit, let Dave's go. She can drop her benefit and take Dave's. What's she going to do? Now, I mean, she's going to take she's going to take Dave's benefit. I, I have a great story on this. <laughs> it was uh, one of my very first workshops, and this lady what was my first one, Keen Library in Fremont, and this was back 11 years ago. And she comes in, she goes, Mr. Pimper, and I, I always get a kick when she was like 73, I was like 55. I get a kick when the older person calls me Mr. Pimper. Mr. Pimper, you said something that really disturbed me in that workshop. I said, well, what is that? She said, you said if you're married and your spouse dies and that spouse has a higher Social Security benefit than, than you have, that you can jump up to his benefit. I said, well, that, that, that's exactly right. She goes, and just like a school mom, she goes, well, I was told you couldn't do that. And I said, well, who told you that? She says, my brother. <laughs> How'd you like to be at, at, at that Thanksgiving dinner the next year? Um, yeah, so her benefit was approximately 13. His was 18. She could have jumped up to the 18. She kept the 13. That's 500 bucks times 12 months, 6,000, five years, 30 grand. She, she lost out on 30 grand because she listened to her brother. So I tell people, you know, don't listen to your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncle, your mom, your dad, your priest, your pastor, your rabbi. No. Next door neighbor. I say it's the worst water cooler talk there is. Hey, Dave, I took it 62 and you should too. Hey, Dave, I took it 72. Hey, Dave, this is when, you know, what you should do with your survivor's benefits. You know what? It's like, it's like saying, hey, I love the color of violet and you should too. Everyone is unique, and that survivor benefit, my mom's 98 years old, still living. She has over $1,500 that comes in. She barely had a benefit, $300. She worked 43 credit hours. Yeah, here's, and here's my, my, my father's benefit is who she goes from. Coordinating spousal benefits, you've got to be the person claiming has to be born before January 2nd of 1954. That would put them at 68 years and four months. If you're not 68 years and four months or older, you cannot do this. But all it is, is is one is going to claim their benefits, the lower, the, 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 the bit larger one is going to go in and let theirs grow and claim the, the 8% delayed retirement credits. It's a big deal. But with restricted, if you're born after that, you could actually go in and get half of a spousal benefit. They're phasing that out. This, they're in the sixth year of phase out. It phases out on January, actually January 2nd of uh, 2024. But you get that 500 bucks on a spouse or 6,000 a year, absolutely free money. And we have about, there's actually about uh, uh, 18 months that you could continue to get that. You know what Social Security can and cannot do? They can give you your highest benefit right now, but they can't give you advice. And that is bizarre. When's the last time you saw a Social Security workshop given by the U.S. government? Can you say never? They never have done that. Not the Social Security Administration. Now it could be an extension agent or something like that, but but not not you hardly ever see Social Security by the government entity. So look at every D here, right from their manual, from their employee manual. Provide enough information so that claimants can make informed choices, but do not give advice. Who gives advice? We give advice. Advisors give advice. This is why if you're working that rollover marketplaces, which I work day in and day out, that's where the money is. It's in that 401k, the 403b, the 457, the, the TSP thrift savings plan. Those, that is where the money is rolling over. I mean, every week, every, almost every week I have, I, I talk to someone that, that, oh man, that, that certainly has 500,000 or more. I mean, I just talked to one last week with 1.3 million. Yeah, and Social Security is just so important. Now, it's not a standalone income stream. It's really how it, I call it the five pillars of income. That's what I've coined it. But it how it really conduits into those other income streams. So Social Security, it's not a standalone income stream. I consider it the most flexible of all your important income streams, claiming at 
your right time, not the or a right time is paramount. And when you're thinking about break even, don't don't forget about that survivor's benefit. So important. But, but I do this off of a, uh, off of a, uh, and I do this from a sales process that you can certainly get from coaching with me if you want to. But you know, working wages, whether it's full or part time, and you know, if you're lucky enough to have a pension, but income producing assets, and this is where I gather every asset they have, anything that I have a possibility that I could work with. But I need this information to really see when the best time to to claim for Social Security. So I get the 401k. I get the 403B, the 457, the TSP, um, IRAs, Roth IRAs, bank accounts, brokerage accounts, cash value, life insurance, real estate holdings, uh, any type of annuity, um, any, any, just any kind of asset. And I'm trying to find either where they're unhappy with their advisor, he hasn't or she hasn't been in contact, where they're, this, this one had a ton in company stock and since the first of the year, is 2.1 million in his 401k went to 1.6 million. He needs some guarantees, he said. RMDs, which is required with traditional accounts at age 72. It's, it's how Social Security, with all of those other income streams, how it coordinates with those, how it conduits in with the other things. What's very, very interesting about the about, um, Social Security Administration, they cannot ask you, um, you know, if you've got, how much is in your 401k, what kind of risk you're taking as they're in gains or losses. They can't ask you about how long they think you're going to live. They cannot ask you, they cannot ask you um, how, uh, um, uh, what's the DNA like in your, in your family. You know, they, they, they can't ask you a ton of stuff, which we can. You know, what's your goals for this money? What do you want to do? We're planners. We're advising them. Remember, Social Security Administration cannot give advice. We can. Tons to consider. Just in, just in a, 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 a spousal claiming benefit, 567 choices, many more than single, many more. And that's why if you can claim being divorced as if you're still married, remember those, those four? Those four? Strategies, yeah, yeah, it's a big, big deal. So, again, three ways. There's three ways that we go in and we market Social Security claiming to you so you become that expert. Two of them are paid for by insurance agency marketing services through my coaching, okay? First of all, seminar marketing. And I tell you, I just, I just got done with the Social Security seminar Last week, Wednesday and Thursday, had 14 set appointments. Set appointments. The next day, after those two, we called them all. Every single appointment has kept. And so I actually saw my very first one on Monday of this week of those. I've got, I've got three more this afternoon from Social Security. That first one, yeah, 365000 They came in because of Social Security. She just retired two weeks ago. Money's still there. They're concerned about the market. They, they, they truly, they want to get it safer. Yeah. I mean, now, will I get that? I'm not positive, but, I, but I'll tell you, that's my first one. I'll, I'll get two or three more easily over the 14. Yeah, I, I would certainly think that I, hopefully I'll invest over a million dollars from just that Social Security workshop alone. We coach you up on Social Security claiming. Retirement Boss Radio, yeah, it's an hour-long recorded radio show done in your local AM station on the weekends. Uh, some work to this, yeah. You have to learn Social Security, but we coach you up. With Social Security for seminars, we coach you up for Retirement Bus Radio. Normally runs three to four thousand dollars a month, but to be on the radio, I mean, I, I'm not kidding. This, I just, I just had the appointment today. The guy, the guy that had two point one, that found one point six. That was from radio. Now, I'm not saying I'll get that, but I, but I, one of my most fun things to say as a representative is next N E X T. Is that okay, compliance? Can I say next? I think I can. Yeah, next appointment, next prospect. Because I lose one, it's not a big deal because i got so many appointments behind it. Or you just don't need any more clients or you just don't want to do that marketing. Yeah, you can coach for Social Security for $800. I get four sessions. There's over 20 attachments that you get. I mean, just a lot of information. So Scott's going to put up a poll right now. And that poll is going to say, do you want more information on Social Security claiming? And then Brady Pelzer will call you. And please take his call if you mark yes. And, and then we talk for 15, 20 minutes and seeing if, if this could really help your production. There's an old saying that says, procrastination is my sin. It brings me constant sorrow. 
I really shouldn't practice it. Perhaps I'll stop. <laughs> Tomorrow never comes, does it? It never comes. I've never heard anybody say I've gotten so rich off of procrastinating. People who take action are the people who are most successful, not just with the money, but in life in general. If you want more information on, you can see, I really need to learn about Social Security. We'll find a way to do it. Uh, 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 I'll tell you, the return on investment, it has changed my business knowing Social Security. I thought I was late to the party 11 years ago. Well, you're not late to the party now. There's 10,000, between 10 and 11,000 people turning the age of 62, 3, 4, 5, 6 every single day. Turning 65. Okay? So they always say 10,000, but 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. There's actually 50 to 60,000 people turning, turning, you know, and retiring and the money rolling over and wanting Social Security advice. So I'm going to go in and turn this back over to Scott and see what questions there are. But if you mark yes, and I'll tell you, Social Security, I'm going to, I mean, it's just, a, it's just a great way to prospect. It's just a great way to get in front of people. It's just great if you're working that rollover marketplace, pre-retired or retired, a lot of people with fixed index annuities and fixed annuities do work that. Then how do you not know one of the best income streams of all time, Social Security? Scott, I'm going to turn it over to you and see what last questions we have before we, we zip this one up. Hey, thank you, sir. Great presentation. As always, that poll is still active and live. So everyone, please do take the time to just click yes or no on that. Um, definitely, de I shouldn't say definitely, probably definitely is worth your time to book that 15 minute consultation with Dave and just see how this may fit into your practice and, and where we can assist you on. So I'd highly encourage you to say yes. Uh, Dave had a couple questions come in regarding seminars and just, yep. you know, the bounce back of attendance. Are you starting to see attendance come back to in-person seminars yeah we 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 are doing i mean again i had 14 set appointments last time we guarantee 35 signups 35 people are going to sign up 35 and what happens is we've been averaging probably 45 to 50 my last four or five that we my mind and then four or five others that, that people have done is it pre-pandemic numbers close but we're i mean People are tired, even like the federal mask mandate. And I know there are some states, you know, I, I mean, we're in Nebraska, so we're in the, the very middle of the Midwest. We're not on one of the coasts, so you could have some state or local rules, but absolutely we've seen the numbers jump. And it's a beautiful time to, to do Social Security. I mean, people, the Social Security offices are just starting to open. People want information. They, they want to get educated. It, I'm not just saying this, but it's a great time to go in and do this. Absolutely it is. I'd highly, highly agree with you on that, Dave. Um, with that, that kind of brings me to the end of my questions I think we can deal with here in a public format. Do you see anything that, that I missed there, Dave? No, but I will, I will bring up one last thing. Whether it be seminar marketing that, that, that you, that you're, that, or, or retirement boss radio marketing where Social Security is paid for by you guys, uh, Scott, and, we, and I appreciate that with my coaching <laughs> But but you can go in and for 800 bucks, you can use, I'm going to coach you up on, on four sessions. You can use me. And I tell you what, I always say, use me, don't abuse me. But I can tell you right now, understanding and, 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 and learning Social Security, it'll change your business from a production standpoint, I assure you. So love to hear from you. And uh, Scott, we can go ahead and kind of close her down now. Yep, we'll close her down. Uh, again, Dave's point is is true. Uh, if you understand Social Security, that's going to give you an inroad with a lot of clientele that you didn't have before. Would highly encourage you to uh, to kick the tires of it and coaching with Dave. Very, very worth your while. That being said, I want to thank everybody for being on the presentation today. We really appreciate your time. And Mr. Pimper, I know you are busy coming off those seminars and the radio radio leads oh, yeah. that are getting set for you. So we really appreciate you giving us the time today. And, and that's you all bet. I got. Have a great sales okay. day, guys. Thanks. Everybody have a good one. Bye-bye.